Missing his first week of school, and I need to get the workbooks. And then I forgot that he starts swim class next week. I didn't tell them he wasn't going to be there. You know, things like that. You should make a list. <laughs> Knowing me, I'd forget where I put them, right? Tape recorder. I'd be tempted to um, tape conversations I'm not supposed to hear. <laughs> you got a great smile. Well, thank you. And I should drag you down here more often in the middle of the night. You didn't drag me. I woke up. Didn't see you there. So I came down looking for you. Here you are. Upset. Maybe a little crying. Trying like hell to cover it up. Whatever it is. What's the matter? It's nothing. Really, it isn't. It's um, it's just all in my head. I held you in my arms, and I felt you slipping away. You were dying, Sonny, and there was nothing that I could do to stop it. My heart was just pounding. I was so terrified, it felt so real. The fear is real. But it was a dream. I know that. It's... I just, I get scared sometimes. I can't help it. Of course you do, because you're smart, and you know that, you know... What can happen? It won't. There are no guarantees. The, the, the danger is not going away. So I can handle this. That, it's, what, it's what happens, you know? You, you, you wait, you watch, you don't know what's going to happen next. I don't want you having nightmares. I don't want you waking up terrified. Well, I've got you when I do. You can fall asleep, listen to the ocean. It's a, it's a beautiful place. You, you, you think that, that, you... That, that my heart isn't going to pound when I wake up a hundred miles away from you? It's so much better for me to protect you when you're on okay, the island. listen islands. to me. Please listen. Listen and, and understand this, okay? Look, my worst nightmare is being separated from you. No, stay right there. Stay right there. It's all coming to you. Oh, yeah. I can get used to this. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we got pancakes, right? Uh-huh. With syrup and butter, mm. made from scratch. Not the, you know, from freezer to microwave kind. No. Well, I'm sure they'll still be delicious. 
<laughs> and wait till you see this thing. This is uh, Michael's masterpiece that he stuck in the fridge. Ready? No. Look at that. He is so artistic, isn't he? I mean, I, come look at that. I know that. Okay, I might be a little biased, but look at that. He's really good. He's good, isn't he? Is that what he wants? I mean, like a look. just a house with trees and swings and dogs. I don't know what he thinks about mm, him. No, he wants mommy, daddy, and Letitia. And everything else is negotiable. Yeah. Mm. What about you? Mm. Um, what, what was your fantasy when you were a kid? Lots and lots of shoes. And a housekeeper and a really handsome husband who could cook. Wow. <laughs> I'm serious. So am I. Yeah? Yeah. So if you, if you could snap your fingers, right? and have any kind of lifestyle you wanted, what would it be? This one. So you, you trust me enough to tell me your nightmares, but you don't trust me enough to tell me your dreams. Okay, in rolling hills, in a great big house, and a veranda. You want to wear there. hoop skirts, those things, like they wore in Gone with the Wind? Mm. You know, in Gone with the Wind, everything burned down, and on our estate, things are going to be perfect. There's not going to be anything bad that ever happens. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be any bugs, and there's not going to be any snakes or insects or anything. <laughs> what about a dog for Michael? Um, all right, he can have one that doesn't drool and doesn't shed. Any more kids? Five. Five. Yeah, and they're all gonna have your dimples. Oh, really? Yeah. And the, and the girls are gonna look like you? And they're gonna have my sense of humor. What? <laughs> what are you saying I don't have a sense of humor? Well, you know, you do with me, but with everyone else, it's like, I don't know, you just walk around with a scowl on your face. Yeah? Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't look like that. Yeah, you do. You look just like it. All right, let's, let's get back to the mansion and the, and the butler. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna have a really Fabulous big ballroom. So we can park pool hall and stuff. And casino. Okay, Maybe hey, hey, throw in hey, some, hey, uh, hey, 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 my fantasy. Mine, remember? I forgot. Oh, don't do that. It's mine. <laughs> Sonny isn't home, and I'm in no mood to have a visit from the snake who stole my club, so you can go. Carly! Well, you'll do just fine. Look, I need five minutes, okay? Sorry, I don't have it. Max will show you to the elevator. Oh, come on, look. Uh, I know you don't owe me anything, all right, but I wouldn't be here if I weren't desperate, okay? I am worried about the man that I love, Carly. I know you can relate to that, all right? Just five minutes, that's all I'm asking. Thank you. All right, as you can see, I'm busy doing some things, so I would appreciate it if you got to the point. I don't know where Jax is, okay? His cell phone's been turned off, no one's seen him, and as far as I can tell, he hasn't been called off on any unexpected business because his plane is still on the tarmac. Other than that, I have no idea where he might be. Are you always like this? 
all freaked out when you lose track of Jax for half a second? Maybe he needed a breather. I wish it were that simple. I believe that Jax is involved with whatever's going down between Roy and Sonny, okay? Now, Christina was the first casualty, the one that we know of anyway. I am scared to death that Jax may be next. followed now? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. Brenda's cottage on the anniversary of her death. You think you're ready to say goodbye now, Jax? I've never been here before. Yeah, well, that's why Brenda loved this place so much. No reminders of you. Yeah, right. Brenda's, uh, Blissful, sunny, free existence. How long do you think that lasted? Where do you mark it, it, it start? The day Brenda had a nervous breakdown? The time you guys got engaged? When her mother came into town? You remember her mother, right? The crazy lady who drove her off a cliff while you watched? How easily you twist the facts. <laughs> it's a gift, isn't it? Your ability to rewrite history to suit yourself. Yeah, as long as you can keep on blaming me for Brenda's death, and you don't have to remember all the hell you put her through. Or did you let yourself conveniently forget? I don't make a career out of mourning Brenda's death like you do. I don't make special trips on the anniversary of her death to her cottage. And there's no reason for you to be here. You know what, Jax? I don't have to justify myself to you. But yeah, I loved Brenda. She loved me. Way before you came around. Yeah. You know, your love almost cost her her sanity. And yours cost her her life. Does that make us even? A cottage in the woods? Yeah, sappy little two-story. I don't know, there may even be a picket fence. Who remembers? And what, it's just been sitting there and violate all this time, like some kind of shrine? Well, not exactly. There have been other people who've lived there since Brenda. Nicholas Cassadine, even me. I lived there with them. Jason and Robin. Talk about an exercise in torture. But anyway, yeah, it was Brenda's house first. And um, then Jax practically moved in there. He lived with her. And uh, this year being the anniversary of her death, he probably just went over there to think about her in private. Why should I believe you? Don't, okay? You are the one who came here demanding answers. Look, I'm just saying we don't know for fact that he's there. Yeah, actually, I do. Okay, because I overheard one of Sonny's men tell him. Will you go, please? Look, I need to know something. No one else is going to tell me the truth, but uh, I have a feeling that you will. You knew Brenda. You saw Jax with her. How were they together? Well, I'm sure that's been a burning question for you. Will you be straight with me? Well, can you take it? 
Do I have a choice? As far as I can tell, Brenda is the only woman that Jax has ever loved or ever will. You wouldn't have believed it. Here he was, this, this big deal, hot shot financier, whatever the hell he calls himself. And, and he's got women just falling all over him. And he lets this spoiled little rich girl play him like a, a bongo. You think Brenda used Jax? I know that she did. I mean, I saw it. It was like, it was like pinball back and forth. It was Jax and Sonny and Jax and Sonny. And... Yeah, but she ended up with Jax. Only because Sonny left her at the altar. Yeah, literally. There she was. Brenda was all dressed in lace. She walked down the aisle and, and she waited for Sonny. And he never showed. Ooh, how awful. Well, not really. I mean, not for long, at least. Because surprise, surprise, Brenda, she went straight to Jax, and Jax took her back. He was only too happy to take her back, because he always did. In uh, his eyes, Brenda was perfection. She could lie to him, run off with Sonny. She could have public mental breakdowns. And Jax didn't care, because she was it for him. What about Sonny? What about him? He's with me. Yeah, but don't you ever feel like maybe you're just a Brenda substitute? I mean, someone that Sonny settled for because he lost Brenda for good? <laughs> okay. Well, I would make a pretty lousy Brenda substitute. Okay, because I wasn't born rich or spoiled within an inch of my life. I'm not pampered, I'm not petted, or miserable. Okay, but it's taken me a little while, but... I have gotten here to this point, and I understand. Look, Brenda is someone Sonny loved once. But he loves me now. Well, thank you, Carly. You've been very, um, informative. 860 Birch Tree Lane. Let's go. Where? We're meeting Sonny. Did you have Jason bring me down here? Yeah, I want Alvazar uh, to see both of us. Okay, so is that his ship out there? He needs to know that we're not hiding. And his... It's his move. All right, well, just remember, you need to be careful because you promised to spend the rest of your life with me. And I'm holding you to it. Been refueled. It looks like Alcazar is getting ready to leave the harbor. Is he on board? Uh, not for the last few hours, and we don't know where he went. What about the staff? The woman? Yeah. Was taken off the ship yesterday. Hard to believe. Alcazar has given up. I don't. I don't think he is. Okay. Alcazar went to a lot of trouble to come after you. He's a professional. Mm -hmm. He does not scare easy. Alcazar won't quit. I think he's going to keep going until he gets what he wants. Makes sense. But what doesn't is Jack's part in all this. I mean, I... Maybe I don't see the connection because I hate him so much. And I know Brenda's dead and long gone, but every time he says her name, I, wanna, I just want to kick his face in. Wait, how, how did Brenda get in this? 
Brenda died four years ago today. Actually, Jax let her die. The big blonde idiot couldn't keep her safe and a light went out in her life and mine. I try not to, but I, I gotta tell you something, I, I can't help but think what she went through that night. Was there a moment, you know, when she realized she was gonna die? I told you I'd die seeing Brenda's face. I just wonder if she died seeing mine. What are you looking at? <laughs> As if I didn't know. Echoes are yachts on fire. What? There was an explosion about a few minutes ago. I had Jason go check it out. I didn't do it. Might have been Roy, you know, he's a demolition expert. Well, maybe this is the thing that will make Alcazar go away. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Hey. Was it hard for you today, being at Brenda's cottage? Well, I hated seeing Candy Boy there, but, you know, Brenda's house doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, you know, I never saw her there. Yeah. I can't picture her there. But you've been thinking about her? Yeah. Missing her? <laughs> Is it? Hey, it's okay. Hey, what? you're allowed, you know? You know what I learned from Brenda's death? What? You can't save the people you love by pushing them away. All you do is, is, is miss the times you could have had. Sometimes I forget that. And I think I can protect you by sending you away, by distancing myself. But that's not true. I love you now. I have you. And the rest is all stories you tell yourself, you know? Promises you, you can't hope to keep. Okay. Well, we have this moment. And we have the future. Yeah. Yeah, and those aren't mind games and stories. It's just what we've decided to choose for ourselves together. And you know what? Don't worry, because I'm never going to let you push me away for my own good or for any other reason. I was killed in the explosion. Jesus. I thought only you and Jax hated Alcazar. I mean, and Roy, I guess. You could have done it, like you said, but... I don't know, whatever it is, there are a lot of people who want him out of here. Alcazar came to Port Charles to make enemies. Yeah, well, he got what he wanted. Uh, Alcazar's on Pier 17. He right. was not on the yacht when it blew up. Anybody killed? They don't know yet. They're still evacuating the boat right now. Okay. Well, do you think Alcazar would just give up now that he's got a chance? I doubt it. Now, Alcazar went to a lot of trouble to set this plan in motion. He is not going to bail the first time something goes wrong. Okay, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay Alcazar a visit to offer my condolences. No, Sonny, you can't. You can't. Ooh, wait a minute, this guy is out to kill you? What am I supposed to do? Sit around eating bonbons? It's, it's business. Since when? It's business. Since when? You told me yourself, you told me that Alcazar isn't after you for any reason that you know of, except that one day he woke up and he decided he wanted to dismantle your life. What if tonight's the night he wants to finish that? I will take precautions. No, Sonny, look, I'm sorry. I am sorry, okay, but I've got a really, really bad vibe about this, okay? It's a gut feeling. It's something that I have learned to listen to. What if I had that dream for a reason? I can't make decisions based on your dreams. Alcazar's yacht is on fire. I can't use it to run him out of town. 
We gotta make a move right now. Okay, well, what if that's exactly what he wants you to do? No, 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 this could be a setup, couldn't it? Jason? Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's, it's my risk that I have to take. This is not a democracy. No, it's not. It's a marriage, okay? And excuse me, excuse me for being selfish, but I'm not real enthusiastic about becoming a widow. I watch my, I watch my back. Son, listen. What, what if, what if he's got you, you, you outnumbered? What if, um, what if, what, what if he takes? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if I trip out of the car and break my neck? But we can go on with worst case scenarios. It's not going to change anything. Okay, you know, We're wasting time. Fine, Help me out. Fine. Here. You want to get ticked off at me, and you want to tell me I am way out of line? It's fine, okay? But I have a feeling. I know this feeling, okay? And something is not right. Will you please do me a favor? Please do not go see Alcazar tonight. Okay, that, hold, hold on. What if I go in first? Just check it out, see if Alcazar is vulnerable. All right, go ahead, you do it. The operation's in chaos. We gotta move, though, Jason. We gotta move. We gotta move now. Okay, Sonny, I know what you're gonna say. Okay, but this danger... This danger feels so real, it feels like it's in the room with us. It is in the room. It's your fear. You're letting your imagination run away with you. I am telling you that my dream felt like a premonition. Carly, you know me. You know the life I lead. You know all the ways I keep myself safe. I am alive today because I know what I'm doing. I think before I act, I take precautions, right? Two years ago, you were shot in front of the BCPD, and your heart stopped. And I stood over you, and I see you screaming at the doctors not to give up. And I begged you to come back to me, and you did. And I want you to come back to me this time, too, Sonny. I, I will. I'm going to come back. All right. Well, what, what, what if... No, no, no. If Listen to me. No, no, don't. Forget what ifs, okay? You need, you're a strong woman. You need to be strong now. Okay, being strong is, is telling you what I'm thinking and speaking my mind, telling you when I think you're walking into a trap. Okay, I heard you now, and you gotta hear me out here. I can't have this I can't have distractions. Okay, I gotta I gotta be able to follow my instincts. I can't be always thinking about what you're doing or what you're thinking or whatever. Okay. I, I I I can't make I'll make mistakes okay. that way. Well you know what? I, that's exactly it. I think you're making a mistake right now. I asked Jason to go, didn't I? Okay? When he gets back, and I make the decision to go, don't fight me on this. Can you do that for me? What do you, uh, what do you know about that yacht exploding out there in the harbor? You tell me. I was, I, I saw it from the window. Lieutenant Taggart, we caught this guy coming up the back stairs. What are you doing in the stairwell there, DeLuca? I was coming up to see Sonny. Oh. Wouldn't it be easier to take the elevator to the penthouse? I mean, that's a lot of stairs. Unless, of course, you didn't want Sonny to know you were going to pay him a visit. <laughs> I was just looking for some answers. To what? Well, Sonny and I, we both own property in the waterfront. There's a yacht on fire out there. It's bad for business. So I think he could shed some light on it. How about it, Sonny? You got any thoughts about that? Yeah, got a thought. I was... I was gonna call the police to see what was going on. <sighs> you two are gonna have to do a lot better than that. Well, you lost me there, Lieutenant. Hostilities are escalating between you. <clears throat> and you see, DeLuca, he doesn't have the resources to come after you on his own, so, you know, I'm... Sure he's got somebody backing him. What about it, Roy? I'm just a businessman. No crime in that. Christina Cassidine, she already got caught in the middle of this. Her death is on your 
heads. What about you, Mrs. C? You prepared to be the next casualty? Get yourself a nice little headstone right next to the first wife there at St. Joseph's Cemetery? I'm prepared to testify in court that you came in here without a warrant, that you're harassing my husband, and that you're using your authority as a police officer to terrorize me. I may not be able to stop you, but I certainly don't have to listen to this. I'm going to the store. Okay, honey. Um, can you pick up the yellow peppers, the fresh ones, please? Thank you. Yellow? Yeah, yellow. yellow. Yeah. That's, that's nice. You're making her a nice little meal, just in case it's her last. Charge me or leave, Lieutenant. You want to stonewall me? Fine. That's your choice. You made a mistake tonight, Sonny. If somebody was on that yacht when it blew up, that's going to come back to haunt you. That yard going down doesn't change a thing. What did the Luca want? We'll talk about it later. What happened at the dock? What happened? At okay, uh, the woman who left the yacht. Yesterday was not Alcazar's girlfriend. His girlfriend was still on board when it blew. Where is she now? She's trapped on board. Next Saturday at 10, I'll pick you up on the way. Alcazar thinks you're behind the explosion. No surprise there. He said if you sank the yacht, you destroyed what you love. What is he talking I, about? I don't know, but he is losing his mind. He is shouting and yelling at his crew. So he's vulnerable. If we're gonna move against him, now's the time. Really nice watch. Where should I tell him to meet you? St. Timothy's Church. Okay. Hello? Sonny? Who's this? Uh, a friend of yours has information about Alcazar. She wants to meet with you. I need a name. I I'm just delivering the message for the lady. Meet her at St. Timothy's Church. Put her on the line. She, she doesn't want to talk. She'll see you at St. Timothy's. Put her on. Okay, I'm not going to agree to do anything unless I speak to the woman myself. He wants to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Then he's not going to meet with you. Which, which is fine by me, but I get the watch regardless. You're wasting everyone's time. I'm passing her the phone. Unless I have a reason and a name, I I'm not going to meet anybody at St. Timothy's tonight. Go for it. Well, listen, listen, listen. Tell him. Tell him it's in his best interest. Please. Again, she says it's about Alcazar, and you have to come alone. 
Oh, and she says it's in your best interest. All right. I'll be there alone. It's set. Yeah. Okay. Go where alone? When? Tonight, um... Some woman wants to meet me at St. Timothy's. It's been... We'll be riding over with me just in case, you know, something happens. That's what you want? Yeah. Give me five minutes with the with Cardi, will you? No problem. Hey, can we discuss this? Or don't I get an opinion? You think it's a trap? So do I. Mm -hmm. Agazar had that woman call. He wants me out in the open. Yeah, that is exactly why you shouldn't go. Okay, if it's a trap, that means I... I, I, I can turn the situation around it, into my advantage. Okay, but it doesn't have to be tonight. You know, the, you don't know what Alcazar Cardi, is... Cardi, We have a child out of the country. You're living like a prisoner. My business is suffering. I'm ending this tonight. All right. Good night, Michael. We love you. Seems like he's having a real good time. Well, I'm glad that we called him before you left. You can still fly down there if you want. Be with him. Why? So I can sit there and wait by the phone and see how this turned out? No, thank you. You know, I don't have to agree with what you're doing, but I'm certainly not going to hide from it. This is the first time Alcazar's shown any kind of weakness. He didn't think that Yara has on purpose. Jason says that he, you know, he was going crazy when he thought his girlfriend might have been caught on board. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe Alcazar knew that Jason was listening, and the truth is, we don't know what he's doing. And the whole thing could be a damn setup. Maybe, but I, you know, I've been playing catch up from the start, and it's, it's my chance now to turn it around. I need you to hold it together, Carly. Oh, you think I'm gonna panic? Well, it's, it's been known to happen. Okay, you know what? I did not stay here to make things harder. I stayed here to help. Okay, why do you think I am sitting here fussing over these wines, okay? It's because I don't want to go to you and wrap my arms around you and ask you to stay. Okay, look, just the sooner this is over, the better, okay? Because then you and I, we can get back to life as normal or as close as, as we come to that. such a liar. Oh. Okay, well, you knew that when you married me for the third time, so you know you don't get to complain. Can you just say that I am being a supportive wife and just appreciate that and don't critique my performance? I appreciate you. I know what you've given me. The woman has probably never been to Port Charles. St. Timothy's is, uh, you know, uh, central, easy to get to. Hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah? When you're in the church, either before or after the meeting, can you just say a little prayer? Just ask God to watch over you. Okay, I'll try. No, promise me. Promise me. Okay, I know. You need a little prayer. You say prayers for everyone else. Sometimes and I, just I pray that, you know, for the patience to put up with you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
right, well, you know what, I appreciate that. Really, I do, and maybe I should do the same thing. You know, ask God for a little divine guidance to deal with you and your being unreasonable. But, but that only happens every, what, ten minutes? I'm not unreasonable. Oh, really? Since when? Well, sometimes I ask for simple requests, but... I'm... Oh, yeah, like, like do, do this now when I tell you. Don't ask questions, don't have an opinion, and most importantly, do not. Try, try to... to help. Oh. <laughs> You're not even pretending to well, deny it? Why should I pretend when, you, you know, you, you don't listen and much less do what I ask? Oh, I see. You're asking me. I don't know how I missed that one. Oh, it's got to be your speech impediment. Well, I got a speech impediment now. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you have to, you must, because it's the only reason, probably, that your mouth isn't capable of forming those words, please, Carly, or I'd appreciate it if, Carly, or maybe we could discuss, or, oh, here, here's the, the, the most impossible and the most unachievable, which is, um, you're right, Carly, I, I was wrong. You're right, Carly, I was wrong. Oh, really, when? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I, uh... I said we were older, every time I said we were better off apart. I'm better off with you than I was going to be. Please, Carly, will you spend the rest of your life with me? I would appreciate it if, uh, we could spend the next 50 years fighting and making up. discuss how, how happy you make me and how much I love you. Didn't you see? All you had to do was ask me. Sonny. Yeah. It's time. All right. I'll be right there. Jason, I are already gone. Xander remembered something. Really, just write it down because we cannot call them right now. Xander's asleep. And I'm staring out at the rain. Waiting. I, I thought that maybe I would come over and, I don't know, wait with you. Oh, nothing like a good old-fashioned cat fight to take your mind off problems. Look, you know what? I can't do it because I'm not in the mood right now. Okay, considering we're both sitting around terrified for someone we care about, I think that we actually might be able to, I don't, I don't know, help each other. All right, uh, temporary delusion. Pay no attention. Um, Elizabeth, what do you, what do you know about peppers? Excuse me? Yellow peppers. To be a little more specific, you know, um, cutting them up, taking the seeds out, marinating them in olive oil and, um... You mean, like, for a salad? Yeah, I, I have no idea, okay? I don't know. I am not the cook Sonny is, but, um, it's my big chance to prove to him that I can slice a vegetable. So, I don't know, if you want to be useful, you can show me. Carly and I called Michael tonight. He swam across the cabana pool underwater. It's good for him. Yep, I told him I was going to see him do it, you know, once this whole thing is over. It's raining pretty hard tonight. Yeah, well, at least it's not snowing. You know how much I hate freezing. Yeah, but rain makes it hard to spot movement. In the night, it's almost impossible. Alcazar could put a sniper on the roof. Alcazar's yacht has sunk. You told me he was jittery. He was losing focus. Were you wrong? No. Okay, now's the time to make a move. 
I want to see what this guy's after almost as much as I, I want him gone. So I, there are other ways to end this? This is my way to get answers. And that justifies the risk? Are you telling me not to do no, this? No, I'm reminding you that you have a wife and a little boy. You're their world. You're the reason Carly gets out of bed and does all the crazy stuff she does. And you're the reason Michael swam underwater across the pool because you told him you'd come and see it. And he's counting on you to be there. Yeah, maybe you, Sonny, need your answers, but your family needs you more. So be sure about this. Oh my God, be careful with that knife. I'm gonna cut myself. No, I'm worried about the knife, okay? Don't, don't nick it, don't dull it, the edge or anything, because Sonny acts like they're made out of platinum, okay? Get very angry at me if I cut my pizza with it. Okay, and also one time, one time, he got mad at me because I tried to fix the screw on one of Michael's Transformers. I mean, but come on, it's a stainless steel knife, really. How much damage is it gonna do? You and Sonny must really love each other. But you're just figuring that out right now? Oh, you make allowances for each other. I mean, you guys, you stayed together even though you must just drive each other absolutely crazy. You're waiting for him tonight and you don't even seem scared. Is that how you support him? Why bother talking about it? You know, Sonny's job, that's his problem. My fear is mine. He was right. I should have worn a raincoat. I'm gonna get soaked. Okay, I'm gonna get out here. Max can pull the car around to the other side of the plaza, which is close to the church doors. No, car's staying here. So are you. You need backup. She said, "Come alone, Jason." I'm, I'm not gonna walk you up to the church doors. I need to take position so I can see the roof to cover you in case this is an ambush. Wait ten minutes. Ten mi Ten minutes. I need to be in position before you get out of this car. This is Sonny. an order. My job is. This is an order. My job is to protect you. Your job is to do what I tell you to do. Whether you think it's right or you think I'm dead wrong, it's not your decision to make. Now, you knew the rules when you got the job. Now, you either do what I need you to do or I'm gonna have Max take you home, but I do not want you to show up in front of that church Fine. unless you give Fine. me 10 minutes. Fine. My job is to follow your orders and that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna tell you right now. Because I have to, you are taking an unnecessary risk. You told me the worst thing to do is let something get personal, and that's what you're doing right now. Then you, I will... You're, you're not leaving here because it's smart, Sonny. You're, you're going out there because Alcazar is daring you, and you want your answers. Then I'll get what I deserve, right? Because I'm unprofessional, and I, and I can't see what's in front of me and make a decision to walk away because this bastard comes out of nowhere, screws up my life, and I'll do whatever it takes to get rid of him. Yes, it's personal. That's why I'm going to ask you, as a friend, stop fighting me with this stuff. Please, let me do what I got to do. Fine, 10 minutes. It was funny. Last time I was here was when I left Brenda at the altar. Was raining then too. Jason used to cook for me. I can't even picture that. <laughs> it's really not a big deal. He cooks like a normal person. Unlike Sonny, who, um, Acts like it's a cross between brain surgery and like a sacred mystery all rolled into one. Well, have you ever tried to learn? I mean, maybe cooking would turn into something fun you and Sonny can do together. There are other fun things that Sonny and I do together. And for Jason's sake, I hope that you do too. Um, are, are you getting out while you still have the chance? You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, I'd like it if Jason didn't get hurt. Okay, he's so busy protecting you, he's forgotten about protecting himself. Do yourself and do him a favor and don't lead him on. 
don't bail at the 11th hour and decide that his life is too scary or too intense and, and, and that you'd much rather be worshipped from afar than standing right next to him and dealing with whatever happens. You need to figure out what you want and what you can handle and then you need to share that with Jason. Well, are you and Sunny always that honest with each other? Yeah, gotten there. Somehow we have gotten there. Enjoy your dinner. Thanks. Thank you, um, I really appreciate your help. Thanks. Thank you for yours.
Just shot in front of St. Timothy's Church. Get an ambulance there as fast as you can. We... Who was that? Not... I want you to take me back to Sunny Stop. right now. Take me Shut back up. now. Shut up. Hello. St. Timothy's Church. Sunny needs you to get there as fast as you can. Who was that? I want you to take me to Sunny now. How long have you been with Alcazar? Luis Alcazar saved my life. He rescued me from drowning. Well, you've been with him every time, ever, oh, ever I'm since sorry. you left. Are we catching up now? The only thing I want to talk to you about is why we left Sonny. Because Where every move... On the ground! Listen to me. Every move that Alcazar made against Sonny has been because of you, Brenda. I know. That's why I went to the church to warn him. Now, you tell me what is going okay, on. Okay, do you listen? Did you hear what Sonny said? Who'd you send to go get him? You think I'd rather be here fighting with you than helping Sonny? He told me to protect you, and that's exactly what I intend to do, whether you like it or not. alone, my friend. On Father Day, there's a phone in the church. I'm gonna go for help. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Would you like me to pray for you? Lord God, Holy Father, you bring healing to the sick for our silent penetrating test from Jesus Christ. Got a weak karate pulse. Let me get a blood pressure. Hear our prayers in faith. And send the Holy Spirit of our Lord God. Our helper and friend. Got an SVT on the bottom and the blood pressure 68 palpated. May blessings come upon this man. Free him from illness. It's got an SVT. That's the fibrillate. No good, it can't. It's and be whole again in mind, body, and soul. We lost him.
course, the police will assume Roy murdered body. The paramedics. Well, they have no authority. The paramedics said they had to transport him to Mercy Hospital. So a doctor could officially declare him dead, I imagine. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna lead you to court in this area off as a crime scene. You, get forensics here ASAP. Tell them to start collecting evidence. You, start canvassing the area. See if you can find some potential witnesses, please. Mrs. Crintos, I know this is a bad time, but I'm gonna need to know everything that you saw. She, uh, arrived just as her husband died. Okay, what about you? Did you see anything? Did you hear anything? No, no. Only the storm. Okay, we need names, addresses, witnesses, anybody who is here tonight. As far as I know, I'm the only witness. My name is Reverend Thomas Dade. I live next door at the rectory. Did you find the victim? Yes, as I was locking up for the night. Did you call the police? No, he asked me to stay with him. That's right. He wasn't alone. I prayed with him and stayed till the very end. Thank you. Hey, what about groundskeepers, maintenance men? Was there anybody else here that might have seen anything? Uh, there was a woman. She was waiting in the church. Yeah, I'm going to need her name. I don't know. Uh, she's not a parishioner. I've never seen her before. Can you describe this woman? Um, dark hair, small frame, something enormously sad in her eyes. I'm sorry for your loss. You hate this funny. I didn't want this. I, I didn't want you to have to see him die like this, Mrs. Cantos. Can I call your mother? No. Is there anyone else? Anything else I can do? <laughs> Just leave me alone, Haggard. Please leave me alone. Mrs. Cantos, I'm going to need your help on this. Sonny was gunned down tonight, and the paramedics moved his body. He was lying in the street! He was lying in the street and it was raining. It was like a piece of trash. Where were his bodyguards? Do you know? Marco drove me here, okay? And Max was driving Sonny and I don't know where they are. So here's the big question. Where was Jason? How long have you known that Alcazar was coming after Sonny? Brenda. I'm not sure. Well, think about it. When was the first time you heard Alcazar use Sonny's name? When did he start making business trips to Port Charles? You gotta remember Look, I'm not something. sure. I can't Please. think clearly, all right? I've been doing drugs for a while. I don't know when things are real and when they're not. It wasn't until I saw that we were in Port Charles I stopped taking them. I started hiding them. Are you, are you okay right now? Did I just see Sonny get no, shot? I'm, I'm asking, do you need medication? You know what you're supposed to take because I can find a way to get it for you. The drugs, they just make me confused. Why is this happening? You know more than I do. Hey, why, why would you tell Sonny to meet you at that church? Why would you tell him to meet you alone? Was that, was that your idea or was that Alcazar setting him up? I just told you that I ran away from Louise. Okay, why? Because I wanted to warn Sonny. And I wanted to ask him to protect Jack. So we stole some map from Jack, so I'm pretty sure he's trying to hurt him, too. Okay, did And Alcazar... you know what? I have had it with your questions, all right? You need to give me something. Anything. Fine. Okay, I'm pretty sure Alcazar has been coming after Sonny for about four months. He's tried to use a few different guys. They didn't work out. Now he's using a guy named Roy DeLuca. Wait, okay, wait, now, what... wait, Roy. That, wait, that's, that's, that's the guy. That's the name of the guy who he... Louise told this guy to kill Sonny. Okay, listen, Alcazar... ...said he had something that Sonny wanted more than anything in the world. Apparently that was you. Okay, but Sonny thought that Alcazar had a way to hurt his family. So we could not do anything until we made sure. He could not move against Alcazar until he made a mistake. And tonight, the yacht blew up. And then you show up, and you want to meet with Sonny. See, I, we knew, we knew that Alcazar had a woman with him, okay? I thought it was a setup, but Sonny was willing to take that chance. Why'd you leave him there? He told me to get you away. 
Who'd you call? I called an ambulance. And then I called Carly. That's his wife. She loves him. I thought she needed to be there. All right, well, what are we doing here? What no, is this? This is a safe house, okay? We're going to be here until someone calls us and tells us something about Sonny. No one knows that we're here, that we own this place. There are no neighbors. No one can see us. Alcazar will never find you here. Uh, all right, what, what about Jax? Jax, what does he have to do what with anything? What about Jax? Jax, I told you that I went to warn Sonny. I was going to ask him also to protect Jax. First look, of all, you're not going to tell me anything until we hear what happened to Sonny. Look, I, I, y you need to protect him. You need to protect Jax because that's what Sonny would have wanted. Sonny because he would have done Jax. it if I would have asked Sonny him. Sonny hates well, him. you think he wants him dead? I'm saying you need to protect a man, all right? Can you do that? You need to protect him because Sonny would have wanted you to do that. That's what you do, isn't it? That's what you guys do. It's like an honor thing or Hey, whatever. don't pretend to understand the relationship that we have, okay? If he wants me to protect Jax, that's what I do. If, if you want me to, I'm not going to do it. Now just be quiet. Did he say anything? Okay, but someone has to be with Carly to make sure she gets home okay. What? Where'd they take him? To the morgue. But I care that he was murdered. I care enough to find his killers. I care enough to grow you and I'd rather see you get home okay. I mean, do you really think I'd like to make this difficult for you? I do. <laughs> I know how much you loved Sonny, okay? Nobody should have to watch their person they love die on the street. <laughs> There's a war going on, Mrs. Corinthos, and one side was eliminated tonight. Help me take down the other. All right, for once we want the same thing here. Help me. I was at home, and Jason called me and he told me to come to the church. Did he give a reason why? He said that Sonny needed me. Did he say for what? He didn't have to. You want to know who murdered my husband? His name is Alcazar. I hate that he never loved me as much as I loved him. Yes, I will. I will. Uh, I'll let you know. Is everything okay? No. Something terrible happened last night. There was um, a, a shooting. Oh. Um, Sonny. He, he's dead. Dreaming. So 
when he was here, he was alive. He's dead because of me. You didn't kill Sonny. Things were already set in motion before anyone knew you were involved. Yeah, I should have called and warned him on the phone. He just left. I never wanted him to see me sick, and now he never will. He would have hated that. <laughs> I never would have done that to him. lying in the rain and then the paramedics came and said they had to take him away and Jason Jason wasn't there has he called no have you tried calling him look Jason Jason will call when he can well, well what if he's hurt okay no look look Jason is the one who called me to tell me about Sonny and and he's fine okay he will come by when he can I, I I need to go find him. Okay, no, Elizabeth, don't, don't. Okay? Look, Jason is out there and he's probably looking for the people who did this to Sonny or he is looking after his business. He doesn't need you running around asking questions and showing up where you don't belong. If Jason saw Sonny shot, he's not going to be thinking clearly, which means I need to okay, do something. Okay, and I need to just leave, leave it alone. Carly's right. Carly's right, honey. We need to stay out of this. You want him just to go hunt down the person who did this to Sonny? Listen, Elizabeth, if you care for Jason, if you really care for him, and you accept his life, you will take this as your opportunity to prove it and just go back to the penthouse and wait for him. Okay. Okay, I, I understand. I am so sorry about Sonny Curly. Um, I'll be across the hall if, if you need me, okay? We'll let you know if we hear anything. Okay. You have been doing such a good job of holding everything in, but honey, it's okay to let it out. No, there's things that need to be taken care of. She's hurting. Um, I, I, she was crying all night. Thanks for sitting up with her. Are you gonna tell her that you're alive? Miss Davis, to see you. Let her in. I came to tell you that I'm sorry. Are you all right? Can I get you anything? Do you need breakfast? I'm fine. Because I would want you to take care of his child and worry about that and not what's just happened. Are you home alone? My mom's going to be back in a minute. I can't help wondering if I had told Sonny about the baby, if he would have taken greater measures to keep himself safe. Oh. Yeah, I see. So if Sonny had known about this baby, then he would have had the incentive to live where he didn't with Michael. That isn't what I meant. Mm. In light of what's happened, I think perhaps we should stop the lies and... Well, before someone else gets hurt. What are you saying? I'm saying that we should tell the truth and acknowledge that the baby's father is Sonny. 
Fred has been staying with Alcazar all this time? He pulled her out of the water after her mother tried to kill her. Did she want to stay with him? She says that she has the same disease that killed her mother. Mm -hmm. And she thought staying with Alcazar was better than you or Jax having to watch her go insane. What did she, she think she was going to do at the church? I don't know. She heard, she heard Alcazar tell Roy to kill you. Right. She wanted to warn you. And then just disappear, I guess. Why didn't she just get the guy she got to call me? Because to warn she me. wanted to see you, Sonny. Well, she did. And yeah, she thinks I'm dead. It's pretty clear what Brenda wants in her life. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not part of it. So the best thing we can do at this point is let her keep on thinking that I'm dead. That's probably easier for everyone. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna get her something to eat. Alcazar's girlfriend is someone you know, Brenda Barrett. Felicia says the guy is obsessed with, with her. He's given me a new assignment. I'm supposed to keep Jax under surveillance, intercept Brenda if and when she tries to get to him. Take on Jax and have Brenda delivered to Alcazar. Exactly. Right. You know how the guy thinks. Well, when I found out that Brenda was involved, everything else fit, I figured out why he sent you after me and Jax. What he thought that he had that I wanted. Why he would risk coming out in the open like that. He thinks it's worth taking a chance to hold on to Brenda. Well, he's not taking any unnecessary chances right now. He's gone underground. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, Sonny, he's not going to resurface until the woman does. We have her. You, she came to you? I saw her five seconds before you, you popped me with those five slugs into my Kevlar vest. So she's the witness. Yeah. Taggart was at my apartment first thing this morning to question me. He said there was a witness to the shooting. I figured he was blowing smoke because he didn't call me in for a lineup. Brenda's not going to be available to the police anything she saw at St. Timothy's. She's not going to go after Jack because she's going to stay right here under guard until we deal with Mr. Alcazar. Promise me you'll call. Yeah, I promise, me. I promise. Oh, now you want to admit that Sonny is the father of your child. Now that he's gone. Now when he was alive and he would have wanted to know. What are you gonna say, Alexis? What are you gonna tell people? Oops, I made a mistake. Turns out Sonny's not cursed after all. You know, now that he's safely dead and he can't pollute my child with all his evil, I'll lower myself and I will admit that he is the father. You know, you know what, Alexis, you go ahead. You go ahead and you do exactly what you want. You tell the world. Okay, but I think it's going to be a little awkward, don't you, considering that you've just been trashing him 
but I'm sure you will figure out some kind of way to go ahead and make it his fault. Blame him. Yes, you know what? Tell the world that it was his fault that you lied in the very first place. I thought you wanted the truth to come out. No, I wanted Sonny to know his child. You know what, Alexis? You do what you want. But you just know that if you go public with this information, that Sonny's enemies are going to know. Because they're not gone just because he is. So you be sure that this is what you really, really want. And then you're not just doing this so you feel like less of the hypocrite that you really are. I should go. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. Jason, tell me what happened in that church. What went wrong? See you there. What happened? Why did you leave, Sonny? Has there been any contact from Alcazar? No, nothing. Where have you been? There's a lot to take care of. Do you know anything about the woman? The woman that was supposed to meet Sonny, do you? She was there, Jason. She was. The minister told the police that there was this dark-haired woman sitting Carly, in the church. Carly, none of this matters was right now. the woman who was on Alcazar's yacht? I am so sorry. I appreciate you coming over for Carly. I was hoping that I would be able to get her to come home with me, at least until after the funeral. I'm not leaving my home. Okay. All right. You want me to help with the um, arrangements? I realize neither one of you has probably had a chance to think about the funeral arrangements. Mm -hmm. I could call somebody... It's actually all been taken care of. I spoke to the funeral director myself. Well, that's good. Thank you. Uh, if you want to give me the name, I'll give it to Father Coates. He's agreed to conduct the service. You just need to call him. Tell him what you want. Okay. Carly, can you handle it? I guess I have to. Well, I, I'll stay. No. I mean, if you need me to stay. No, just don't, don't, don't. It's okay. You do what um, Sonny would want you to do. Well, I'm not going to leave unless I know that you're okay. I'm okay. I'm really, I'm fine, all right? I've got my mom here, and... Jason, I can do it. I can do it for Sonny. All right, now listen. If you want to get in touch with me, contact me at any time. Talk to Marco or whoever's posted outside, okay? Yeah. And do not leave this house without a guard. I'm um, not. I'm gonna go anywhere, okay? I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna call Father Coates and I'll make the funeral arrangements. Is there on a wait for Alcazar to resurface? That could take a while. Well, if you got a better idea, well, I'd love to hear it. <sighs> well, I'm not sure that I do, but I mean. Sonny, we got the guy in kidnapping on two murder conspiracies. Christina is dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a perfect world, somebody could take that to the authorities. Jason said the night that the warehouse was uh, bombed, they took you in, cops, but they didn't book you? Yeah. Was that Alcazar? Huh? Yeah, that was Alcazar. I realize that the PCPD is useless, but what if we tried to feed the guy to the feds? Roy, man's an arms dealer. Only way to survive in that profession is if you're useful to someone, probably a government agency. Okay, you gotta listen to me now, okay? The only way to stop Alvazar is to force him to make a mistake. Now, Jason is gonna do the best he can with Carly, but unfortunately, Felicia's gonna have to keep believing that you murdered me. There's no other way without losing the advantage we have on Alcazar, so your job is go along with Alcazar, let him keep thinking that you're looking for Brenda. Jax is gonna be safe until this guy has her. I can handle that, but you're gonna have to handle this. If Brenda gets away, she won't. Sonny gone, I want to reestablish my parental rights to my son Michael. 
Thank you, Father Coates. It helps a lot just knowing that you'd be there. Father Coates um, said that he could do the funeral tomorrow evening, and I told him to um, designate the Stone Kate's AIDS wing in case anyone wants to make a memorial donation. You know, I'm sure that Father Coates would be available later in the week if you want to wait. <laughs> so the media can turn it into some kind of public event and just crash the funeral and write a whole bunch of lies about Sonny? No, forget it. Carly, I know what you're doing. You're burying yourself in all of the details. And sometimes that does make it easier, but... I know how much you love Sen. <laughs> and I know how much you're hurting right now. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's good to let it out. Yeah. It's okay. Sonny, looking out the window like that. I used to tease him about it. He used to say that the water, it helped him think. I don't know to me, it's just water. You know, warehouse. Ducks. Said and we watched that yacht burning the other night, me and Sonny, and I knew something terrible was going to happen. Look, listen, honey, why don't you just slow down on all of this and, and wait a couple of days for the funeral? I can't. I can't, because you know what? Then Taggart is going to harass me and, and Jason, and I, Sonny would hate it. Give you some time to have a nicer service and you know you could find a place that had a view of the river sonny wouldn't want a big show yeah have his um, associates been paying their respects um, i asked jason Keep them away. You know, tonight's for family. It's for, um, people who love Sonny and they could see the beauty in his heart. And we know Sonny made mistakes. He did terrible things. But, you know, for the people he loved, he was everything. Clint Dawson. Coffee? Thanks. Any war on Aquazer? Still on the ground. Watching every move we make. He could have left for a while until things cool off. Aquazer. It's not going to go anywhere without Brenda. He's going to wait for her to warn Jackson. He's going to grab her. Yeah, well, that's not how she thinks. She, she wants to leave. If I could let Brenda go, I would. The last thing I want to do is hurt her.
Bill's okay? You need anything else? Is that for me? No. You called Jax yet? <sighs> Brenda, I have, I have someone watching Jax. Okay. Here's what you do. You pick up the phone and you say, Jax, Alcazar is coming after you. Brenda, I'm taking care of... You're using him as bait because you don't care what just, happens to him. Just stay out of this. Oh, okay, and you'll stop ordering uh, me around. Okay, right? first of all, Jax wouldn't believe me, okay? Then he'd do something stupid that would make it easier for Alcazar to come after him. If you give Jax all of the information, he will be careful. Then you want me to tell him Jax yes. about you? Yes. Bad idea. Well, if you don't, I will. I'm sorry I can't let that happen. Okay. Sonny is dead because I didn't tell him the truth. And I will not let that happen to Jax. All right. I just want to warn Jax. Look, I don't care if Alcazar catches me as long as I can warn Jax first. Once I get rid of Alcazar, you can do whatever you want to that do. Is, that is all I want to do. What else am I going to do? I don't have any money. I don't have an ID. I don't even exist. Brenda Baird is dead. Okay, well, we'll work something out. Now, all right. I'll work something out. How about this? You can send me away. You'd like that, right? Look, as long as you promise me that you'll warn Jax, maybe I, maybe I should just leave again. You know, you can send me to an institution, you can send me wherever you want, I don't care. I just don't want to hurt the people that I love anymore. After this is over, I'll do whatever you need. Brenda, whoa, 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 whoa. Benny, Benny, that was not the plan. I, Benny. I know that. But we had to make some changes. How could we know that she was going to show up and that Alcazar was going to leave right afterwards? We had no idea. It just, you know what? I don't, it, my, my, my own family grieving at the funeral in front of an empty coffin, it's not, it does not feel right to me. I know that. Is Mike around? Yes. Courtney? Yeah, she, she loves you, Sonny. They all do. It is gonna hurt. It just doesn't, doesn't feel right. Carly's gonna get the worst of this. Carly is tough. She can handle it if anybody can. Take care of her. Yeah. You doing all right? Yeah, I guess so. You know, Sonny loved you. That's why he tried to run your life. Yeah, well, I'm just starting to figure that out. Mm -hmm. He really had the best intentions, even with the way things turned out. I wish that I had given him a chance. I know that he only wanted to help me. Hey, listen, listen. Sweetheart, Sonny knew. Sonny knew that you loved him. Yeah, but if I had just been willing to, to just see his side of him, I don't, 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 okay, don't. Really, Sonny lived with way too much grief in his life for too long. And he really wouldn't want the same thing for you. Carly's right. Your brother lived with a lot of pain. And he wouldn't want to put you through that. Don't feel sorry, okay? Don't, come on, don't blame yourself. And play what if, because you just need to know that Sonny loved you. Okay, and he loved you. And that's all that matters. It just doesn't seem right to me. Well, it's been great having you here. I'm really fine, though. Yeah. I don't really need a babysitter anymore. Yeah. Look, you meant a great deal to Mr. Corinthos. He wanted you to be safe at all costs. That's all. You know, Sonny wouldn't have wanted me to be locked up. Make sure nothing happens to Brenda. How many times did he say that to me? Many, many times. I'm just doing my job, okay? Well, I guess you're better than looking at Jason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just the accountant. I should be know? nicer to Jason anyway. Yeah, so. they're good friends. So you think uh, Jason's going to take over again, Benny? Mm, I, I don't discuss business. Oh, right, I'm sorry. What about Sonny's family? Oh, Jason will look after everybody. Don't worry. Poor wife. Uh, Carly. Carly, yeah. Jason is is with her at uh, Sonny's funeral now. Right. It's good 
she's with him right now. Mm -hmm. At his funeral. It's good. Yes. Chase. I was so worried. I... It's, it's okay. Taggart just pulled me in to harass me. Yeah, well, That's I was afraid it. he was going to lock you up. And if you'd missed this funeral, I don't think it could have happened. Harley, it's going to be okay. You just have to get through this. Glad we didn't cremate him. So then I could throw Sonny's ashes in your face. I could weep. I could crawl on the ground. You, you looking for Sonny in there? You want to lie in there with him? I could have done the whole bit you did. I just wanted to show my respects. Okay, well, this service is for the people Sonny loved, which means you don't belong. Get out. for being here today on this difficult day. We have joined together to pray for the soul of our departed friend, husband, father, brother, and son. Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners. Now. Sorry to interrupt. I don't believe this. Sonny and the police go way back. I came to pay my respects. We're in the middle of a service. Well, I'm in the middle of a murder investigation. Take a seat and we'll continue. Not until I make sure who's in that coffin. Can't. You just let my son rest in peace. I'd like nothing better. I need to see who's in that coffin. <laughs> Can't this wait until after the service? Get away from my husband! Get out of my way, Mr. <laughs> Taggart, you hounded him in life and now you're here again. Even when he can't defend himself, get out! <laughs> No, you hated him and he's dead now. Can't you just be glad and leave it alone? Jason, don't make any worse. Jason, don't. don't. Don't let him do it. Jason, don't. I don't want to see him like that. I don't want to be like this. Are you satisfied? <laughs> Taggart, get out. I can't handle this, Chase. I can't handle it. I thought I could. I can't do it. I can't do it. Thank you guys for coming, but the funeral's over, so I'm sorry, but you can all leave now, please.
shooting she was gone did you or, or jason or roy did you see her roy shot me before i got inside you know i i haven't thanked you for what you did that night i mean you were great you were fantastic and you made everybody think that i was really dead yeah well when jason called me and told me to meet you at the church because you needed me you know i thought something i thought something really bad happened with the plan then one of roy's bullets went astray or and I sent another shooter, and you got hit above the bulletproof vest. No, I'm, I'm all right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't I, I put you through that. Why'd Jason leave you? Well, um, I told him to, you know. I, 
bringing in at the last minute, I knew that uh, you'd be a lot more convincing, you know, to the police. Yeah, well, I was. Because I thought you were dead. <clears throat> so have you, um, had any luck figuring out what it is that Alcazar has that he thinks that you want? Alcazar has gone underground. He disappeared without a trace, so it looks like you're going to have to keep up the, the grieving widow act a little while longer. How long? Until, until um, Alcazar gets frustrated enough to make a mistake. Frustrated about what? Do you think it's your dad? Yeah, well, he, uh, he's got business in, in, in town. All right, so where are you going to be while I'm playing the grieving widow? We, we can't see we can't see each other but we can meet in secret no why not it's too risky we, i can't do that can't. can we call each other at least can you, you're gonna look the less you know the better okay i mean I, you just i will call you if i can but right now i can't be out in the open like this i gotta get out of here all right Wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean, wait I need a minute. better goodbye, if, especially if I'm not going to see you for a while. I love you, I love you, and I'm proud of you. Okay? Because I am the fact that we're going to still be apart. Hey, think about the reunion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. No, it's just, um, I was in my own world with Sonny. I came back to make sure you're all right. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I just didn't say everything I wanted to say. You know, I wanted more time with him. <laughs> Jason, Jason should be here. Jason's got more to do than babysit me. Honey, you've been through so much. This <laughs> isn't about babysitting. This is about love and support. Well, Jason's going through as much as I am right now, so... Um, you know what Sonny did, though? He, he, um... He taught me that I was strong. And so I'm gonna rely on that right now. Even though I know I'm going to miss him. Because he won't come home with me tonight. Or tomorrow. <laughs> Carly. You are strong. And you are very brave. And I am very proud of you. And if you need a shoulder. I'm here. I'm okay. I know Sonny's here. I feel him. Sonny loved you. Very much, no matter what. And you loved it. And you know something? What's in here isn't what's left of Sonny. Sonny's gonna live on in your heart. And in your memories. And in the hearts and minds of everybody else who knew him and loved him. Okay. <laughs> That's what Sonny would have told you to do. That's what he would have wanted. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. That's a good girl. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. I just wanted to put the place back to normal for when you came home. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a home without Sonny. I know. And I'm really sorry. Did Jason come home with you? Um, I don't know. 
where Jason is, but um, if I hear from him, I'll tell him to call you. Okay. You probably haven't eaten all day. Why don't I fix you something? Okay, Mom. Mom, really, I know. I know you're just trying to be helpful. I appreciate it so much, but you know what? Right now, I just need to be alone. Okay. Well, if you need me, call me. Okay. Thanks. I will be calling, okay? Because I'm going to need that shoulder. I'll keep it available. It's me. I need you. Okay, I, um... I didn't get to finish my conversation with Benny, and I really need to, so... Call me, okay? You have a visitor? All right, let him in. Mrs. Corinthos, I'm Sammy Tagliano.